quite a difficult task, to be fair, to, uh, to get my first 11 with all the players that I've played with. I picked the players also because I like to have like uh, attacking football, uh, a lot of possession, and from there on um, get your uh, chances and, um, and your goals. So I start off with uh, the goalie, it's uh, Van der Sar. Of course, Peter Schmeichel was in my mind as well, you know, because I played with him at, uh, at United and he was very important for us. He was uh, one of, well, a world-class uh, goalie, but Edwin is um, a typical Dutch goalie, you know, he, he's, um, he's very strong. Good feet, you know, uh, on the ball, you know, he always knows to, uh, the solution where to, where to pass it, so that's why I, uh, I picked him as well. Then as a right fullback, um, I picked Cafu. I played with him at uh, AC Milan. You know, he's, uh, he's the type of fullback that we like in Holland as well. We like to take uh, um, initiative to, uh, to go in and to attack, but also come back as quick as he can, you know, to defend as well. And he's uh, a great person as well. To be fair, he's, he's, you know, he's, he played, of course, with the national team. He's won trophies with the national team, you know, World Cups, and, and you know, he's been outstanding for, for years and years when he, when he played. So, um, so it, it was an easy pick, that one. As a right central defender, of course, I picked myself. So um, I want to be in that team, I think I can be in that team as well. Of course, the people in England, they know my qualities, what I can do. And um, I played a lot of times uh, with the left central defender, my partner, um, I pick Alessandro Nesta. In Holland, we say it's, um, everybody speaks the same language on the pitch, especially when you play with experienced players who play in a very high level as well. You know, sometimes you don't need to say what, uh, what the other one uh, has got to do, you know. So from the start it went quite well, so, uh, so we, we performed a very good team in the centre of the, of the defence. The left fullback I picked, well, I think everybody knows him, uh, I picked Paolo Maldini. A lot of experience, uh, um, very good with young players, to help the players out with new players when they join the team. A great person as well, his personality is, is uh, very nice to work with as well, I think for a coach but also for a player if you're, if you're playing in the same team. From there on we go to, um, to the midfield and uh, my most defensive midfield player I pick Roy Keane because um, well as everybody knows I played with him at, at United for, uh, for over a bit over three seasons and we won a lot of trophies together. He's the type of player who pushes everybody and uh, keeps everybody sharp in, uh, in what they need to do. He's, um, he plays uh, very simple and it looks very easy when you see him play but he's so, uh, so important for the, for the team. On the right side on the, of, of the midfield, I played Clemens uh, Seedorf. I picked him because, well, not because he's a, fo a fellow Dutchman, but his qualities are, uh, are great. You know, he's very strong on the ball. He's got also uh, the stamina to go up and down the pitch. He's very good in playing uh, one twos, you know, in, in playing possession. And he's got um, the capability to score goals as well. As a left midfield player, I chose uh, Paul Scholes. I think he's one of the most underestimated players, I think, in, uh, in the world when he played. And I always said, you know, if there's one player who can play easily with Barcelona, you know, with, with the small possession and, and, and playing in small spaces, and, and then, then it's, it's Paul Scholes. Maybe it's because of himself, because he didn't like the press, you know, he didn't want to have all the attention. But I think if you see him play, it looks so easy. And all we like to have those type of players like Paul Scholes, you know, central midfield, a lot of times, you know, because um, you can always play him in and he, he can create a two against one somewhere else on the pitch, you know, and eventually you get to. Uh, to the attackers to uh, to create chances. Then we get to the uh, to the strikers. Um, from the right side, I picked uh, Dennis Bergkamp. He's a world-class player. In, in uh, if you see his technically his skills, what he can do, you know, in a very small area. And, and in England, we know him very well. Uh, but in Holland, of course, and, and for the national team, for the Dutch football, he's been very important as well because he stands. Dennis stands for, uh, for like um, the football that we we want to play. You know, uh, throughout the years in, uh, in, in, in Holland, to be strong on the ball, you know, to score goals yourself, but also put somebody else in the position to score goals as well. And then sometimes, you know, uh, show some nice uh, things on, on the pitch as well, you know, to get past plays in certain ways. And then I remember the goal against Newcastle, if you remember it, the, you know, the, the situation that he does when he turns a player and then he scores a brilliant goal afterwards. So, and, and that's what he sh he's, he's shown in Holland, but also uh, well, in, in, in England, of course. As a central striker, I picked Ronaldo from Brazil. I played with him at uh, PSV Eindhoven. He was very young at that time, but you can already see he was going to be a world-class player because before he joined PSV Eindhoven, he said, when, I think when he was 17 or 18 years old, he said, well, next season I'm going to be scoring about 30-odd goals. And he did. It's always good, I think, when you're, um, when you're in training to play against players like that. Because when he was at PSV, I came, uh, I think, a season afterwards when he, when he joined. And then I played for a reasonably small team in Holland. And when I uh, joined the PSV, you know, I, I wanted to, 
to play against him every time when we played uh, like big or small games. Because I think if you play against those players, you know, who can turn you very easily on a very small space, then it's uh, then it's good. It's good for your own quick feet as well, you know, to turn and to read situations. And sometimes I did well, but sometimes he tricked me as well. So uh, that's why I needed to put a tackle in sometimes. But, uh, <laughs> Left winger, Giggsy. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, oh, this, 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 that, yeah. Yeah, on the left side, I picked uh, Ryan Giggs, and uh, not because of his uh, his goal against uh, against Arsenal in the semi-final, because of all his chest hair. But um, when I played with him, when I joined United, and I saw him playing and or, or training, it looked so easy as well to get past players. When he made the runs on the on the lines, you know, when he get past players, his crosses were uh, were almost every time uh, you know, spot on, and um, well. A player who can like um, uh, score goals as well from uh, as a winger. It, it was not easy to uh, to pick the team, you know, because we, we had the likes of like Beckham is, is not in it, uh, Veron is not in it, uh, Crespo is not in it, uh, Shevchenko is not in it, Van Nistelrooy is not in it, uh, Robin is not in it. So so a lot of choices with <laughs> with the players that I've played with. But um, I think if I look at this team, I'm I'm, I'm quite happy with it, and um, I think we could could have done well.